to WOW TV. My name is Angel and I'm here from the Wizards of Wright program. The WOW program is a part of the Educational Outreach Office here at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. Today we're going to talk about the sun and special rays from the sun called ultraviolet rays. We call them UV rays. When we're all finished talking and I've shown you some cool stuff, you're going to make your very own UV ray sensor, which you'll get to keep. Are you ready to get started? Great, let's go. How many of you like to play outside? How many of you like to visit the beach or an amusement park? How many of you have ever had a suntan or a sunburn? That's something we will talk about today. But first, let's talk about what you already know about the sun. I'll wait a moment while you share with your teacher five things you already know about the sun. Let's see if some of your facts about the sun matched mine. Did anyone mention the sun gives life to things on Earth? Did anyone say that the sun is one of millions of stars in the sky? Did you know that the sun is the star we are closest to? I hope you mentioned that it is dangerous to look directly at the sun. You could really hurt your eyes doing this. The sun is very far from Earth. Did you know that it takes about eight minutes for the sunlight to get from the sun to us on Earth? Now, let's do something together. I want everyone to put their arms together like this. Good. Now imagine that the sun is the size of a beach ball. Now do this. Next to that beach ball, Jupiter, one of the other planets, would be the size of a golf ball. Now, do this. Make it tiny. Next to the beach ball and the golf ball, Earth would be the size of a pea. Which one was bigger? The beach ball, the golf ball, or the pea? That's right, the sun is much, much bigger than the Earth, isn't it? Let's do an activity. I'll wait while your teacher chooses three volunteers. Each volunteer will hold one of these signs. The sun, the earth, and the moon. Okay, ready? The student representing the sun is going to stand very still. Since you're the sun, we don't want you going anywhere. Now, Earth, you will slowly move around the sun. Do you know that the sun doesn't move and that it's the Earth spinning like a top that gives us day and night? Now, the moon should rotate even more slowly around the Earth. That may be a little difficult, so moon, you just follow the Earth for now. This isn't exactly what it looks like in space, but this should give you a pretty good idea of what is actually happening. I'll give your teacher some time to help you with this, or maybe even have more of you try it. Teachers, if you need to pause here, please go ahead. As you have your students do this activity, you may want to use this time to discuss the Earth making a complete rotation in a 24-hour period and a complete revolution in 365 days. Great job, everyone. Now, let's talk about those UV rays I mentioned before. Part of the light the sun sends to Earth includes invisible UV rays. UV rays cause sun tanning, sun burning, and other skin damage. Your skin is an excellent detector of UV rays. When you expose your skin to a lot of sunlight, your skin will either turn brown, a sun tan, or turn red, a sun burn. This is actually a signal of being in the sun too much. Did you know that everyone is at risk for sunburn? Even if your skin color is already dark. And lighter skin and people with blue eyes, blonde hair, and red hair are especially at risk of getting a sunburn. All of this means that all of us need to be careful and protect our skin when we're outside for a long period of time. We do need to be out in the sunlight. It's a great source of vitamin D, but it doesn't take a long time for us to get the amount we need. When we stay in the sun for periods of time without skin protection, the UV rays can cause skin damage, sun poisoning, eye damage, and even skin cancer. And did you know that UV rays are the strongest during the summer? Of course, but UV rays reflect off of snow and water too. 
So you can get a sunburn and damage your skin any time of year. Even on cloudy or cool days, UV rays travel through the clouds and reflect off sand, water, even concrete. No matter what the season or weather, we need to be careful and protect our skin. Most UV rays are blocked by the Earth's ozone layer and atmosphere, but some still gets through and can be detected. Much of our atmosphere and ozone layer have been damaged. Here's a picture showing how much protection we really have. It's not a very thick layer anymore, which is why it is important to take care of protecting our skin ourselves. I wanna show you a way to remind ourselves about UV rays and that we need to protect our skin. Let's use these UV beads. We're gonna use these beads as sensors. They will detect ultraviolet light. These beads will change colors when exposed to UV light. The beads are white now because there isn't any UV light in here. They will turn bright colors when I expose them to UV rays and they will become darker and brighter the longer the UV rays shine on them. Then when there's no more UV light, the beads will become white again. Watch this. Here's my UV light. You will even see the beads begin to turn colors on a cloudy day because UV rays are still there, which reminds us that we need to protect our skin even on cloudy days. These beads can help us stay alert. I'm gonna give you some time to talk with your teacher about some ways we can protect our skin when we're outside. See if you can make a list of four or five things we can do to protect our skin. Did you come up with a good list? Did you mention wearing hats? How about long sleeves? Did you think of that? Did you mention using an umbrella? How about sunglasses? The important one that I wanna talk with you about is sunscreen. Did you all have that as a part of your list? Now, we know that too much exposure to UV rays is harmful to our skin, and this is an important product. I don't wanna call it sunblock. The ingredients don't block UV light. It actually absorbs part of the UV ray so we don't get the full intensity. Each bottle has a sun protection factor, this SPF number, that tells us how effective or strong it is. Some UV rays get the lower SPFs, but many are stopped by the higher ones. I want you to remember that these sunscreen products don't last forever. They get weaker over time, so it's a good idea to remind your family to get a new bottle each spring or summer. Now, I have different SPFs here. Let's do an experiment and test how well they work. I have a small amount of beads in a baggie, and then I'm gonna add the smallest SPF number we have up here. This should give the least amount of protection. Beads in the bag. We're gonna start with the 15, and we don't need a lot. Got to get him covered. Now, let's use this light. Do you see that? That was pretty quick, wasn't it? The UV light is getting through. If this were our skin, we might be damaging our skin pretty quickly. Let's try another one. This time, I'll use a higher SPF number. This should give us more protection. Let's go with a 50 this time. I think they're covered. I'll 
I'll shine the light on our baggie. We might have had more protection, but did UV light get through to your skin? Yep. Let's try one more. Let's go with a high SPF number. How much protection do you think there will be this time? Let's go with 100. and let's shine the light. Are you surprised? Did it give as much protection as you thought it would? Now here's something very important I want you to understand. Using sunscreen is a really good idea. It's protecting your skin, but we can't rely on it completely. Remember the list you came up with? Use that list. Protect your skin in more than one way. And when you use sunscreen, make sure to reapply it through the day. If you're running around sweating, playing ball, put sunscreen back on after an hour or so. If you're running through the sprinkler or getting in and out of the pool, make sure you put sunscreen back on. It's really important. I'd like to show you something else. Is that okay? Let me grab a really large bag of beads. We're gonna use this bag. One of the items on the list of ways to protect ourselves was sunglasses. Let me show you something. This is a car window. The very nice people at Carl's Body Shop let me have this so I can teach you about UV rays. Do you see that this window is tinted a little bit? Let's see how much this tinting might protect us from UV rays. that. Are you surprised? Now hold on, I've got another window. This window is tinted even more, isn't it? Let's see what happens. How about that? Are you surprised this time? I know that I was surprised the first time I saw it. Do you remember what I told you when we first started? You're gonna make your very own UV ray sensor, which you'll get to keep. I'll wear mine as a bracelet when we're finished. When you take your sensor home, you can wear it as a bracelet or tie it to your backpack or the handlebars of your bicycle or even your beach chair next spring. Let me show you what we'll be doing. When your teacher is ready, each of you will get a pipe cleaner, just like this, and your teacher will call you up to the sensor station in small groups. While there, please put eight beads on your pipe cleaner. They go on really easily. Now, they're all white right now, and we'll see what yours looks like after everyone has made one. You may need some help putting it on as a bracelet. The ends can just be twisted together. Once everyone has one, your teacher can use the UV flashlight to show you what you've made, or wait until you go outside and use the real UV light from the sun. Let's check mine out. I made a special one. Do you see that some of my beads are staying white? That's because my UV light isn't strong enough. It's not as strong as the sun. When I wear this outside, these beads will turn yellow. Your teacher has coloring sheets for you and you can be working on those while you're waiting to take your turn at the sensor station. Okay, teachers, I'm turning this over to you right now and I'll see you back here when you're all finished. Welcome back. Did you all make some great UV sensors? 
Let's review a few things that we learned today. Raise your hand if you agree that the sun produces ultraviolet light. How about UV light can be dangerous and can burn our skin? You got it. Now raise your hand if you agree that the Earth's atmosphere gives us some protection from UV light. Yep, but there are other ways to protect ourselves from these UV rays. Excellent. You all did a great job today. Thanks for joining me. And teachers, thanks so much for using this WOW lesson. And please check out more at our website at WPAFBSTEM.com.